Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Face-Off series Iron Man. <laughs> with This is the one that came with Mandarin. It's actually a really cool Iron Man. This is one I've been after for a while. Um, he's always been, you know, in the $30, $35 range and typically missing the arm add-ons. These two, as you saw in the, if you saw the haul video, uh, those two little armor pieces clip on and off. Those are always seem to be missing. Or it's the faceplate and the fit thing. He's like 25 bucks without the faceplate, but I who would want him without the faceplate? <laughs> but anyway, we'll finish up his 360 and we'll check out the details. All right, guys. So first off, we're going to show you these little pieces here. So they just kind of clip onto his arms. They look pretty cool. They're just a nice little sculpt to them. Um, my camera would focus. That'd be great. And um, it's just kind of got all the little rivets and it's got some cool gold. Uh, paint applications on the buttons there on the sides and even on the inside that you don't really see first I thought that was like a magnet. I don't know why um, But it's just the paint again same thing on this side it's got the paint on this side a little bit of a smaller uh, Arm piece and they are designated to the same or not to the same but to different arm pieces the Triangles are a little bit uh, shaped a little bit different as you can see But anyway, you can see on the arm which is nice they painted this yellow So in case you didn't want these little add-on pieces on it doesn't look like just like a bare uh, red bulge right there. And they actually gave it some detail. So those are just kind of press on there. They don't stay on too tight, so I'm guessing that's why people uh, lose them. But I think they look really cool. Um, the faceplate is not held on by much. It just kind of rests in there. But, ah. <laughs> so we'll get this thing in here, and we'll go ahead and go over the details. Um, I guess we'll show you the stark face first. I mean, it's an okay Stark face. He just kind of he just looks a little crammed in there because he part of his hair on the top. Um, but it looks really good. I mean, his eyes are looking pretty straight on. I got some hiked up eyebrows and a little mustache there. But I, we definitely, I feel like we've gotten better uh, Stark faces compared to this one. And the mask here, or the face plate, just kind of. Let me see if I can get this in better. Sorry, guys. There we go. So I kind of put the top in first. So sorry, that was kind of a waste of time. Anyway, the faceplate looks pretty cool. I mean, it rests on there decent, but I think it looks good. It's got a nice sculpt on the front of the mouth, and it's got the red paint, or kind of like more of a pink paint on the eyes to give it the glowing, you know, lenses. I like the little black paint on the side here to kind of give it some uh, more detail. I think that looks cool. It's got the nice yellow paint on the top here with the sculpt. I think that looks good. You can kind of see the gaps in the mask. But overall, I mean, it's a cool looking Iron Man uh, head sculpt. I really like it. And then um, just continues with the red. Uh, got some more rivets in the neck too. But continues with the red paint on the chest area. Um, I just think that looks really good. And then got the gold arc reactor. It's just a very classic looking uh, Iron Man to me. And the body here is just more of a very bright, flat yellow. But I think it looks really cool. And then continue down the forearms here on the gloves. It's just red. You can see those add-ons. Like I said, it's got the yellow on the triangle here. And then on its insides of his hands, you can kind of see a t very tiny uh, repulsor. Very tiny. It's like a speck. <laughs> Let's see on this side. Yeah, just got a little speck. <laughs> kind of wish that was a little bigger. Um, just because we're so used to the bigger, you know, just bigger ones. That's like almost like non-existent. Um, coming down here on the belt, it's got the gold uh, paint on the inside of the belt here. It seems the black lining on the, around the whole body. Those are all nicely sculpted. And on the sides here, it's got the nice yellow paint on the suit. Same thing on this side. It's got the nice yellow paint on the kneecaps. Oh, you can see some more rivets on the legs here. It's got more of that yellow paint. So, I mean, it's not like a crazy, like black wash, you know, suit of armor. Um, I just, I don't know. There's something about the way he looks. I just think this one looks really cool. It's like a mix of a classic look, but I don't know. There's just something about the suit that um, I really like. So I may be putting it with my main Avengers display for right now just until... Um, I feel like I want to switch it back out right now. I have uh, extremists in there. So I'm going to go with the articulation before I ramble too much. Uh, he looks up not that much. So not crazy high for those flying poses. Looks down 
not that much. Oops, I'm surprised the faceplate hasn't fell off. There it goes. Looks left and right. Wow, it went on the floor. Sorry about that. He looks left and right just fine. He's got balls right in the shoulders. They move out. He's very tight. That's always good. Pieces are falling off far and back. He's got upper thigh, upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, uh, uh, forearm articulation along with the hinge at the wrist. The forearm articulation is the wrist articulation. He also has to hand clamp, so that's so you can make a fist, or you can make him kind of have a kind of an open palm. You get him marched up like that with this tiny little repulse blast. Uh, he has a nice clicky ab crunch still. He's got a waist swivel. It does not swivel the other way too much, actually. It's, that's kind of strange. Hmm. Yeah, this does not want to go the other way. It's got ball joints, so you can do fully the splits. You have to kind of rotate it and get it up and little, so move the, the thigh swivel to get him to kick out. It's got upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, uh, boot rotation. Ankles move down, they move up. He has this older ankle rocker to articulation and pickles upon his feet. And he does have silver paint at the bottom of his, I mean, not silver, gold paint at the bottom of his boots for uh, flying around. All right, and cool. You, sometimes these little, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the lining on the inside here, sometimes the glue gets loose on the old toy biz and the bottoms of this whole piece will fall out. So I'll have like a little gap in there sometimes with the older figures, just something weird. That happens. But anyway, we'll show you guys how tall Iron Man is. All right, guys, so face off Iron Man stands a little right at six inches tall. So here he is next to kind of like a classic Iron Man from the Iron Monger wave. I thought that was, that was kind of a neat comparison, very similar colors. And here he is next to the Extremis uh, Iron Man, which I think is still very cool. This is still one of my one of my favorite Iron Mans. I'm bringing some funny ones. Uh, here he is next to the Disco Iron Man. And here's the Silver Centrinian Iron Man from Toy Biz. This is another one I wouldn't mind uh, redone one day. And Marvel Now Iron Man from, shoot, Thanos Wave? I can't remember the first Thanos release. But there you go, guys. I mean, it's another really cool Iron Man, um, especially if you're still working on your hollow armor. He's worth getting. Um, I just think it's a really neat looking suit, as, you, as you've already heard me rambling on. But definitely worth picking up. Um, that faceplate is does not stay on very easy, so that's probably my biggest complaint. So God forbid that this guy falls off the shelf when I'm you know not home or not around, and that faceplate bounces somewhere. It's going to take me a while to find it. So that's probably why a lot of them are missing. Um, just takes that one fall. Luckily, it's contained in a very small room where my display is. So it doesn't have a whole lot of places to fall, and I can in time find it. But yeah, I mean, if that fell in a normal like when people have those nice toy rooms and um, falls on the floor, a cat comes by and smacks it around. I don't know. And I can go on and on. But anyway, I think it's a very cool figure. Um, nice Iron Man. And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. <laughs> Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Take care, guys. Bye.